In this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean up a mess like this. And we're gonna do it right now. So I'm rearranging rooms here. Um, if you remember, this is the living room, dining room. Uh, you can see the whole renovation of this in time-lapse form if you want. Um, but I've decided to move the TV right here. So basically I'm doing that because we want to make this kind of a play area. I just wanted to make a video on how to hide a mess like this. Now this is a little exaggerated just for the video. Some of this stuff isn't even connected. I actually did do what I'm gonna show you for here so all the wires were hidden, um, but I'm gonna show you how to do it from the start on this wall. So you have an idea of how to do it yourself. So behind the TV, this is basically what it's gonna look like, is you have a box right here, and then it goes down to a box right here. And then those wires can go out to your electronics. I have a plug up here, but I'm not gonna do that on uh, the other wall. I'll show you a little trick to how I'm gonna get around that. Okay, I gotta pause the video for a second. Uh, that little trick that I was gonna show you was to take an extension cord and run it in there and then bring it down here and then run it out here and plug it in basically to this outlet. But I made the video, I did that. I figured that'd be a nice little trick to get around um, having to move the electrical. But that's the thing is it's trying to get around stuff and I thought about it and I looked it up and it is against the national electric code to do that. So if you see that cord in the video, ignore it, don't do that. I'm not gonna argue with whether I agree with that or not, it's code. So stick around towards the end of the video, I will show you running an outlet up here. And another quick little tip that I forgot to mention in the video is if you're doing this in an outside wall, you may have insulation back here. You could still fish these wires down here. You just might need a hard piece of wire, like a coat hanger or something to help you out. Just push the insulation in a little bit and fish those wires down. So with those two disclaimers, ignore the fact that you see an extension cord in the wall. Never happened. I should mention that I'm gonna be showing you for if you have drywall. I know um, some of you ha have concrete walls, um, but this is gonna be for drywall. So one thing you wanna do is make sure you're not gonna uh, hit a stud. You want the open cavity of the wall so your wires can go up and down. And I know that there's either a stud right here or a stud right here uh, that's holding the box on. So I'm gonna go over here and make my first hole. And for the bottom, this is what I'm gonna use. This is a low voltage box made for low voltage stuff like cable. I have to run a cable wire up. So this goes on like that. And then this where you can put all your wires through can go on the other side. And then I have a plate cover that will go over those and cover it up and make it look nice. So first thing I need to do is measure the size of this and then mark the wall to that size and cut it out. So grab my box and I wanna measure from here to here and from here to here. And I wanna make sure I mark those measurements so that the screws are facing up so the things can attach to it. So I'll measure the width first, four inches. I'm gonna go far enough over where I'm not gonna hit the stud. Out here, four inches. I wanna make sure I'm level with this box so that it looks even and nice. So I'm gonna take this plate cover off. Now I'm gonna hold this right where that is cut out for the box. Hold this level. And make a line and then I'll measure the height of this which is about three and three quarters 
there is a little bit of play in there. You don't want to make it too tight. And just be careful that you don't make it too big or the box will just fall right through. Like that. And I can mark that line. And then I'll just plumb these marks down. Just to be on the safe side, make sure I'm not gonna hit any studs. You can use a stud finder, make sure. I'm gonna just poke around here with a nail. No studs. Now to cut the drywall, I can use a keyhole saw if I want to. It just plunges in like this. And you can cut it out. You can even use a roto zip or a rotary tool. Um, but I like to use my favorite tool in the world, this oscillating tool. Just makes it really easy. Now I can put my box in. It has these little ears that when you screw these in, the ears open up and they Pinch the drywall together, put that in there. And that side's good. And that's it, easy peasy. So now I can measure for the top box. I've already marked the height right here. And basically find out where your TV mount is going and then make your mark above or below that, however it's gonna work out. Mine works out where it's just on the top like this. I actually went up a little higher uh, just to avoid any problems there. So once you got that mark, I'm just gonna go down here and hook to the wall to make this the same distance. And I'm gonna do 26 and a quarter. And then, and then mark 26 and a quarter right here, and that'll be the edge of my box. 26 and a quarter. And that's the bottom of my box, this mark. Now for the top, you could do the same thing, get a low voltage box, just like the bottom, and then get a cover. But I'm actually gonna use this like all-in-one thing, where you do the same thing, measure here to here, and here to here, cut it, and then these ears come out and grab to the drywall like the other box. So that's what I'm gonna use, measure that and cut that hole. Test fit that really quick. It's gonna be perfect, but I'm not gonna put it in just yet because it'll be easier to uh, feed the wires up and down before I put this in. And then I can just poke them through here and attach it. Take this end and feed it down. This is why I leave that cover off, make this easier. Now, down here, as long as there's no blocking in the wall, which I hope there's not, If there is blocking in the wall, there sometimes is, what you could do is get a long, there's a long flexible drill bit that you can work down there and just start drilling out that block as much as possible. Um, but if you're lucky enough, you won't have that. Uh, some houses have them, some houses don't. At this point, I can run all my other wires and cables that are, that are going from the TV to the electronics. Um, but one thing I'm gonna do, because I like to think about things in the future, I'm gonna take an HDMI wire that I know I'm gonna use for a long time, and it's a nice thick, long wire, and I've attached some string to it. It's real easy to feed this stuff in right now, now that all this is open. 
But in the future, when there's a TV here and there's an entertainment center on the bottom, um, it's not gonna be as easy. But what you'll be able to do in the future is untie each end of this and give one of the strings a pull, find out which one it is, and then you can tie that to a new wire that you wanna run from here to up here. It'll just make things easier in the future. And before I run too many wires in here, I'm gonna run the cable so it's easier to, to grab. I'm actually gonna leave this old one just in case for the future, something changes, we we'll wanna change it back. So I'm down in the basement and I found where the wires go. So if I look at it like this, that's where that box is. So I wanna drill right next to it, basically. And put my, run my cable up. cable wire through and I can run the rest of my wires. Another little tip is if some of your wires look very similar, maybe mark them with some tape. You can even write a number on here and the other end so you know which wire goes where. All right, all my wires are run. I didn't realize how many I had, but they should all fit through here. So let's do it. There, actually plenty of room. Now I can put a box in here, tighten these ears. I'm gonna do the same thing down here. I'm gonna start by putting this cover back on just so I don't accidentally jam a wire in there or something. And I'll take this piece and connect the cable first. This is the inside. And then tuck this down, get that cable out of the way a little bit. Screw this into place. I'm gonna screw that in by hand just so I don't over tighten it. And just feed these in one by one. I noticed that this one is a little smaller, so hopefully this works out all right. Okay. Light cover on. Perfect fit. Now that all those wires are run, we gotta take care of the electrical. So we're gonna grab power from this box and run it up here next to this one. If you don't have an outlet right beneath where you're putting the TV, you're gonna have to find an outlet uh, to take power off of. And I know that there's a stud right here. So I'm gonna go to the other side of the stud. It's basically um, hot wire to, it's labeled on the back hot to hot, uh, neutral to neutral, and then ground to ground. And these boxes work the same way where they have the little fins and you cut, you measure it and you cut out the hole the same way and run your home wire and throw a plate cover on and that's it. Before you start, make sure you shut off the power to the outlet you're working on. 
Very important. So in here, there's a little knockout up there. That's where I'm gonna fish the wire up. I'm gonna do it here instead of coming down because I'll never get the wire into that box that way. But I can push the wire up through there. go outlet is installed extension cord is gone well that is pretty much how you do it so i hope this video helped you out or at least maybe you got some ideas of what you can do on your own house if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it you can click hereish and hereish and check those videos out leave a like if you like the video and leave me a comment i love hearing from you guys thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one